Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about my adventure with Superman season number two, episode number five, most eligible Superman. In this episode here, we get introduced to Carl. And she finds her cousin. The message went through. It just didn't, it just, it just didn't have the, the um, family reunion he thought it was going to go into. So before that even happens, we had this whole thing going on, which is going to be this event with the, um, it had, had like the, the most eligible people out there, but people who are like, very successful as well, as well, and who who are who are single and they and they they, they, they accomplish a lot of amazing things in, in here. And Superman is one of them. Even though they, nobody knows how they can get in contact with Superman, or let them know, even let them know that this thing's going to happen. The only reason why they know because Clark is Superman, but uh, uh, so so that because he's 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 in the room with Perry telling us tell us I'm um, giving um Clark and Lois Lo this assignment. The people must like to, to cover it. That's the only reason why he will know, and the only reason why he's one he got involved because it helps the children, helps six kids, six six children, and and, and Clark like this. Oh. I have to be a part of this now because it's, I like to help the children. And so because of his good heart, he gets involved in his broad too. And then you also got the thing going on with him, Clark and Lois. Got to make sure nobody knows his secret, his secret identity. In fact, in fact I'm, I'm, the, the Clark and Superman is the same person because Clark is dating Lois. And if, if, if people know that Clark and Superman are the same person, well, then they know Clark and Lois and Superman are dating the same person. So therefore, blah, blah, blah. So that's a that's a problem situation right, right there. So you have Lois wants to have, have Superman as Clark, Clark as Superman to act pretty much single, and so so that way they won't know she with him. Because now we got Cat Grant. She wants she's a part of it as well too. Even though she didn't get the assignment, she wants to be a part of it because well she's all about the whole gossip and romance and all that stuff like that too and getting, getting in scoop on people's lives and stuff like that. and so this is her way to find out trying her, her way to find out how what who Clark is as, who Superman is as a person and who who, who we, it was a secret identity because she believes that Superman's not Superman all the time he has to be a regular guy sometime he can't just walk he can't just walk into the store as Superman 24/7 so he got be got to be a regular person which is so weird because I, this is this is this is one thing about the, the whole reporter thing that always threw me off because I just how can nobody can see not see that Clark Superman is the same person? How can they not see how this dude is tall and buff for no reason, and at the same time every time Superman shows up, Clark disappears every time. No one notices that. No one picked it together. You're all reporters. Your job is to investigate to find the truth. No clues. No sparks going off. How? But then you got a cat Grant pretty much talking to Lois. Pretty much didn't her know that she that she that she know what, 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 what the secret is. She's freaking out about the whole situation. And then we also got the story. Then we got the, also got Jimmy. He meets um, Kara for the for the first time. He has a huge crush on her. Don't blame him. And he's feeling guilty because of what he did with what happened with Clark. And so now he feels as though Clark doesn't want to talk to him, which is just insane. And so he's pretty much running and hiding from Clark because he doesn't want to face the, the face with the consequences of, of his actions from last time. He thinks Clark will be mad or he'll think he, he think he needs to apologize. Something like that too. And Clark probably forgave him a long time ago. Now you're thinking twice of it. And, and, and Clark's mind, all he's seeing is Jimmy run away from him and ignoring him. I said, what, what the devil is that about? I don't know. Like, what's wrong with you? But it was so, it's so weird. It's so, it was so very, very interesting in that scene because you have Clark calling, calling. First thing, first thing you thought was, oh, I need to call Jimmy and let him know what's happening so he can be part of this. Not thinking about what happened last time. Totally forgot about it. But it was, it was on his radar. That's how little mad he was. That's how little uh, uh, that it bothered him that much. Yeah, he was a little upset. He thought you were involved with the whole situation of what causes the problems, more problems in his life. But at the same time, he didn't really hold it against you. You're the one holding against you. Because this first instinct was just to call you. But they didn't think twice. And then now he's calling you. And he can see you. And the thing is, though, you're running away from somebody who can see you. And, and, and he knows that you you saw, you see, you see it appear on, the, on your phone. And you hit the ignore button. It was just, what is that about? Like, wow. I okay. I okay, Doki. But I, I did like, I like the relationship between um, Jimmy and Kara as well because Kara doesn't know nothing about the world and she and she's just trying to find her cousin and she doesn't know who he is or what he's doing what he's doing right now. 
and she's just, she just spears ice cream for the first time. Very cute and very sweet. They're watching like pretty much like going on a date between one, between one another. And Jimmy like just trying to show her, show her everything about the city and what's what's going on. Here. It was very nice, a little sweet little moment. But but then also realizing that he can't run and hide forever as as well. Now now here's some other interesting thing happening here. Where we, other interesting thing happening here. We have Hank Henshaw here, and Hank Henshaw becomes um Cyborg Superman. So so far, we had um. John Henry Irons, who becomes Steel, who's who's Steel. We got Hank Henshaw, who becomes Cyborg Superman. Now all we need now is the Eradicator and and that's the, and after that Superboy. Which I, I didn't expect to see them so soon, but I didn't expect to see John Henry Irons so soon. I didn't expect to see Hank Henshaw so soon. So I said, well, I guess it's going to happen now. I guess it's, I guess it's going to. I guess. Also. We got to see Superman uses freeze breath in here, but the but the, but the way they used, did it in here was very interesting. It, it, it made it more like a, a freeze beam. I, mean, I, I actually like this version a little bit more <laughs> than the original one. Usually he just breathes and then turns and then it gets cold and then it just turns freezes around him. But it was more like a, a ice beam that came out of his mouth and it froze everything. And I, first, I, I understand what was going. I, was, I understand what was happening right at the, at the moment because I saw him like his, his eyes glowed. It then I just like this weird like. Like Lowy Vane popped on over his face. And I didn't understand what was happening. And he shot a beam out of his mouth. I said, He's shooting beams now? Well, this is weird. And then she shot a heat vision at it. And when it turned to snow, I said, Oh. Okay. A different take on Superman. On, on, on his powers as well, too. And with, with the, the way they're being so creative about how they're using his powers in a different way. And I just, well, I, I really do like this version. I really do. I really do. I was never expected to see that. And then I also like how how the, the Kryptonians in this world are Saiyans. They're Saiyans. Pretty much the Saiyans are Vultramites. Pick 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 one. Because Kara finally found, meets her cousin and she wants to talk to him. And he's so busy worried about Lois. He, he, he now he does now he he wasn't mean about it. He just said, Oh, I'm sorry I can't talk to you right now. I got handle system right now, but thank you. And then the buzzed off. And in her mind, that's a huge rejection. She went through all this way. She the thing is though, she got she, she got his text pretty much. And she came all this way throughout the galaxies to see him, and he just blew her off, which is really messed up. It wasn't his intentions. It is it's just bad timing. He didn't mean to be like he didn't mean to be rude to her, but it's just that he he, he just wasn't thinking about it. He wasn't like mean, but it's just that it's just the timing was off. And she came in like Vegeta. She, 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 she pretty much came in with big Vegeta energy, and she was like this. Practically, pretty much called him a clown. And I was, like, is she Vegeta? Is she the Vegeta of this world? She, because the thing is, you think about it. Now she, oh, oh, now she doesn't have the weird hair, but she is shorter than him. She's also better equipped with using her powers than him. She's more powerful than him at the moment right now, and 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 she pretty much saw him as a joke and a clown, which she pretty much pointed that out as well too. She said, she said I expected to see a warrior, but I see you." And I said, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh!" And when they went at it, because it was a, a, it was amazing, it was messed up as it was because it's supposed, it's supposed to be family. Because see, you got Clark. And I, I, I see the thing that the thing is though, I kind of saw this coming. Because you, you, you saw signs of this when she's walking in the street and that bus was coming at her. And instead of getting out of the way, she was going to fight. She says, come at me. And it, was, it, was, it wasn't for Jimmy pulling her out of the street. I just, what are you doing? And then taking up for her, she would have just started fighting that whole entire bus right then and there. This would have been, this would have been insane and really messed up and probably got a lot of people killed. I just, oh, Jesus Christ. And so seeing, because she pretty much grew up on Krypton, and, that, and she still got that warrior mindset inside of her head. Remember, her, 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 her his, his AI dad told him they were conquerors. And so now, seeing Clark th thinking, right, in her head, she's wondering, why are you take over the planet? Why, why are you being a joke to these people? Why are you being so nice? Why, why let them talk to you like this? What are you talking about? You, you are a superior being. We are better than them. You should be trying to rule. Why are you talking? Why are you doing this? You're no warrior. I came all this way to meet my cousin, the warrior, and I got you. Oh, this guy, you got to go. But then you have like um, I think I think it's Brainiac talking to her as well too inside of her head, which is another messed up situation. Which was in the, it was this huge fight 
which just that's just insane. Because at first this episode, and even though I was enjoying it, I thought it was kind of cute, very sweet as well too. Also getting to see um, even Cyril Saint Cloud as well too, which I, I I think I have a crush on her. I mean, I like Lois at all, but she's no silver. She's no silver Saint Cloud. I oh my god! I like, wow. Even even I was even the thing is though it's messed up because you got cat. But she, because the thing is though, Cat was trying to figure out who she was, he was dating, and so she automatically saw. When she, when she saw Silver. She was, like, oh, he going, he going with her, and the chemistry, the chemistry between them was actually quite nice as well. So they were getting along, and you got Lois having to like fight that off, seeing it, seeing it herself, fighting off her jealousy, but not, not trying to expose it. And then when she said, well, he could be, he could be into me, and Cat, and Cat just laughed in her face. Like it was, it was, it was messed up. At the same time, you get it, but the, the thing is though, when you see Silver Saint Cloud. And then you look at Lois, and Lois is cute and all, but but you compare the two together, but it's I don't I don't think I would pick Lois. <laughs> I don't think I would pick Lois after, after, after this. I just I don't think I would either. I just I just I I uh, I mean because uh, compared to I mean, I mean, think though, Samuel Grant has, has is wealthy. She started her own thing. She does financial work as well too. She does a lot of good things for her, for a man as well too. Lois is mostly for herself most of the time, and most of the time she's just trying to catch the story so she can go show show she's the best. Yeah, it's mostly like about, about her, really. So uh, I don't know, but either that's just me. But overall, fun, great episode. Messed up as, as well too, but because because you because you, you got Clark with his. Midwestern thoughts and human thoughts are that he gonna, his cousin gonna come into his life. They're gonna get along, be kumbaya, and then Kara with her Kryptonian thought thinking, "I'm gonna meet my cousin. We'll take, we'll take over the planet." Which I just, oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. But great episode. Looking forward to see how this is gonna go down. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of My Adventures of Superman. If you haven't watched this, just check it out for yourself. Hopefully you're watching, you enjoy having watching it too. So give my give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Also, links down below. Next to some of my social media, you want to follow me there. Also, my story, my social media, my shirts, socks, and everything else and whatnot. So you see some stuff about stuff. I really, I really would appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples. <laughs>